you kind of see this trend among the left that they really only care about morality when it comes to judging conservatives. And yeah. I don't think Eminem is any different. Patrice, what do you think? Yeah, I, I totally agree. And what's interesting is the, the celebrities that came out in support of what he said. We saw um, rapper uh, Sean Puffy Combs come out in support of what he said. Uh, later, Colin Kaepernick did as well, LeBron James. But what's interesting is that a lot of these rappers have a, an interesting history. Snoop Dogg also has a history with President Trump where he was on The Apprentice, and, and the, the show actually helped uh, one of the projects that he was working on. So it's kind of ironic that now all of a sudden everybody is hashtag resist in the music industry. I actually don't think what Eminem did was very courageous. He was speaking to the crowd, and as I think the, the other guests have alluded to, there's rumors that he has an upcoming album that could be coming out in the next few weeks, and he also has some music um, on Pink's uh, next uh, album coming out on Friday. So, uh oh. Profit yeah, you know, Carla, you could argue it would be very brave if he had a, a rap in, in favor of the president, but of course that. Yes. Wasn't hold my breath <laughs> yeah, for that. that would be the real bravery here. I, you know, we've seen this so many times where celebrities and politicians uh, are, are considered so brave for making these political points when they're making them in a room full of people that feel the exact same way as them. So that's not necessarily uh, my or the traditional definition of bravery. It's also not smart. I mean, this is why we're seeing uh, the NFL ratings decrease, award show ratings decline as well, because a lot of times people just say, you know, you know celebrities, stay in your own lane, dance sing, act, play football, but leave political talking points to political people. You know, and it used to be in the old days, and Ali, we dealt with this with late night show hosts, of course, we, they were always free to bash a sitting president, whether it was Republican or Democrat, and you always had a feeling that it might be disproportionately so against Republicans and Democrats. But Johnny Carson would kind of leave you guessing. Jay Leno would kind of leave you guessing. None of the Not president, anymore. none of the president elves leave you guessing. Uh, I guess what I'm worried about, Ali, is what this might signal and whether other entertainers then take that leap. Uh, you know where they're coming from, but now they're going to go after their own base of fans for not sharing where they're coming from. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I, I actually don't have any problem with someone using their platform to criticize policies or even a politician that they don't like. But when you go after supporters, that's blatant disrespect for the people who have made you who you are. And we're actually seeing this not just with Eminem, but with the NFL, too. Players saying, I don't care, don't come to my game if you don't like that I uh, kneel for the anthem. Um, it's this kind of haughty arrogance that we're seeing really throughout uh, liberal Hollywood right now. Uh, they think that they got to the pedestal that they're on by themselves and not through their fans. I think people are tired of seeing that arrogance and I think we're going to see the market correct itself. I always wonder the entertainer that comes out and says, let, let, you know, let's be fair and balanced. Let's, <laughs> I don't know if you can put that to a rap right. version, Patrice, but if there's someone who can just say, I see the good and I see the bad, I see this doing that, I wouldn't make a tightly knit song, I guess, but, but uh, <laughs> that might be welcome, but, but we're not going to be seeing that, are we? Well, I mean, we're in such a polarized society, and I think um, these entertainers want people to draw the line. And I think they, they, you know, they ignore the fact that we are, as individuals, we may agree on one issue and disagree on another. That doesn't make us any worse than anyone else. Um, but they, they themselves, they feel that they have the moral high ground, and they don't necessarily have that. We'll see what happens with Eminem's sales. We'll see what happens with Pink's sales on Friday. Uh, and, and if it turns out that he's able to rally more people to his base, then maybe we'll see other, um, other entertainers try this this foolishness in the future but they all know by going after Donald Trump they've all benefited ratings wise oh, yeah. doing that right I mean that and Carla that's one thing that's fairly obvious well, here. well I mean we're you know, listen we're talking about it right now Eminem is like the number one trending topic on Twitter right. so I guess in a in a way it did he we're did win that we're yeah feeding the we beast. are feeding the beast <laughs> right. I don't really think that Eminem is going to create that uh, bipartisan rap though anytime soon but maybe you could do it I I, I can't even rhyme Okay, you know, I, 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 we'll leave, I'm, I'm we'll leave the singing to the it. shower, I yeah, understand. It yeah. just, just, it's ugly. All right, guys, thank you all uh, very, thank very you much. So much. Thank you.